Welcome to Revan News. I'm Mike, and this is Joe, your Revan News host. That's right. Revan News is your weekly automotive news source, delivering highlights on the latest products in the automotive aftermarket and the industry's top movers and shakers. At Revan News, we cover anything that revs. And this week's show is all about control. Like controlling myself? More like taking control of the wheels. We're gonna cover some great parts, from aftermarket steering wheels to quality tires, and some important things in between. In between meaning steering columns, suspension systems, shocks, wheels and tires, everything you need to take control of your ride, but with style. That's right, Joe, and we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. It all begins with a steering wheel. And a great company for nostalgic steering wheels is Moon Eyes. And I got the chance to interview Chico from Moon Eyes at the LA Roadster Show and found out why they've been so successful. Check it out. Hi everybody, welcome back to Revenue News. I'm Joe Sibergandio and we're here at the Grand National Roadster Show. And one of the most iconic companies in this industry is Moon Eyes. And we're here with our founder, Chico. He's been busy all day, but we're gonna try to break in and see what's happening. You're not going to want to miss this. Hey, Chico, welcome to uh, Revan News. How are you? They're good, thank you. How are you doing? Ah, uh, you know, we're doing great. Uh, you've got a 10 deep over here looking to buy this stuff. What's the magic behind Moon Eyes? What is it? What's that intangible that you have that everybody else wishes? Um, I'm, uh, I'm sure it's the uh, trademark that we have, the, the eyes. That's the only thing. Thank God for that, though. Yeah. yeah, let's tell folks a little bit about the history of those Moon Eyes, can you? Well, the Dean Moon started out back in the 49, so this is actually a 54th year. And, uh, well, you know, the Dean uh, did uh, quite a bit of things with the uh, first Cobra wheels built right there on the uh, facility. Uh, drag uh, Master uh, Dragsters, Moonbeam, and then the uh, Streamliner. So all kinds of uh, good uh, racing history was built right there, yeah. Now, unlike a lot of companies where it's all about new products and new products, you continue to sell a lot of the same product over and over again. Same products for 50 some years. <laughs> now, that's an interesting uh, business plan, uh, but it's definitely been successful for you, hasn't it? It has been great, yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, thank God uh, for these uh, uh, ritual uh, uh, fad uh, stuff. Um, everybody's going back to the, uh, uh, you know, uh, nostalgia deals, so. Yeah. Yeah, that has helped a lot, too. And you really feel it at shows like this, don't you? Oh, yeah. 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 How many shows a year do you guys do? Uh, about 25, 26. 25 or 26 shows a year. That's like two a month, right? Just about, yeah. Every weekend there's something else going on, you know? So. And you're everywhere, too. It's not just the United States, right? Well, you know, we pretty much stay in the state of California, but we do have dealers going out all the way throughout the uh, United States. So, yeah. Well, look, Chico, I know that you're busy. We had to just grab you for a second. I'm going to let you get back to your customers. Moon Eyes, those Moon Eyes, you got to check them out. Right back to you in the studio. Next up is a steering column. And we talked with an awesome company that specializes in steering columns from everything from hot rods to classic trucks. I did it incorporated. We were the first ones to do steering columns. Secondly, We've been doing it for all these years and depended on quality. So we always built our reputation on quality, not quantity, but quality. So based on that, I mean, we've gone through hard years where they were, people have gone to really cheap columns and they've fallen apart and broken, and that's over with, and now everybody's saying, okay, I'm never gonna do that again because steering is just too important. So now people are going back and saying I'm getting the best. So we're having a wonderful, wonderful research in our sales and we're recovering from a bad economy twice as well as some others just because of the quality. That we specialize in steering columns. We don't do anything except accessories that hold the column into the car. So we do dash mounts and floor mounts but we have over 700 steering columns in three different finishes. So, you know, we have a lot of skew numbers. I don't even know the count anymore, but we, we started out in hot rods where they just tilted and people were creative and they made them fit. We did some basic sizes. And then now we're going into the 
um, Mustangs, the Camaros, the a little bit later models, but still the 60s. And then we're starting to go back and fill in some of the 50s that are ret what we call retrofit because they bolt in. We put, um, the mounts are always the same. When you mount them to the dash and the floor in a, in a um, Camaro, it's always the same way. When you mount them at the dash and the floor in a Roadster, it depends on the motor, the, the front end you have, so many other things. So the hot rods mount in one direction and it's always different. In the retrofits, it usually is the same. Um, they may have a big block or a small block, but where they're mounted is exactly the same. Hey, we're not done yet. We have tons of suspension kits for off-road, on-road, and racing. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Revan News. There's a lot to cover when it comes to suspension, and we're starting with a brand new part that you Corvette owners are gonna love. Speed Direct was founded in 1994 by a family that had an aerospace engineering background and they found a need for steering and suspension upgrades in the classic Corvette market and decided to pursue it. Speed Direct found that with classic and muscle cars, people got into the pro touring and wanted to have current steering and suspension in their classic vehicle and we decided to solve that problem for them. Our team of engineers designed bolt-on rack and pinion conversion systems to make it easy for the customer to be able to install it themselves and not have to do any cutting or welding on their vehicles. We happen to have a great number of excellent engineers and we did a lot of research and a lot of talking to customers and finding out what their issues were and what it was that they were looking for and we found a way to fill their needs and give them better steering and suspension. We have a very cool, very new differential cover for Corvettes. In fact, you are the first ones filming it. It ha doesn't even have a press release. It's so new. We have built bosses into it so you can actually have a cooler and there are no other diff covers on the market that have those bosses. And it's also deeper so that you can put in a larger ring and pinion in it. 2015 is actually going to see a lot of new products. Uh, we're going to have the final launch of the diff cover, and we're also going to be pursuing a whole bunch of new markets. Uh, one of them happens to be street rod. We will be taking many of our existing product lines, the rack and pinion conversion systems, and the suspension upgrades that are completely bolt on, and we're going to be applying them to the hot rod market. Well, everyone at Speed Direct is really focused on the customers, the end users, because they are going to be the ultimate users of our products. And we spend a huge amount of time connecting with those customers, and everyone is gathering information on what they like, what they don't like, what needs they may have, and we all get together and share it. And that's how we come up with our new products and advancements. Anyone who's looking for more information can visit us at our website. That's speeddirect.com. We also have a Facebook page at facebook.com, fun in every corner. Now we didn't forget about you Toyota Tundra folks. Look what ProComp has to offer just for you. Well, one thing that we actually launched at SEMA in 2014 was a long travel suspension kit for the Tundra. Um, this is available from the 07 through 15 platform and it's really something cool for ProComp. We've traditionally uh, focused on the leveling kits and the 4, 6 and 8 inch suspension lifts, but actually um, developing the long travel performance kit is something that we're really actually excited about. Um, it's something that we haven't done before and uh, we're actually planning on launching it over a wide variety of the current truck platforms. Um, so with this kit it actually offers four inches of height to the vehicle so you can fit 35 inch tires underneath. Um, but what's really cool about it is on all four corners we have our new ProComp Black Series Pro Runner shocks. In the front they're two and three quarter inch diameter, they're internal bypass with external reservoir shocks. Um, in the rear they're two inch diameter. And uh, in the front, we actually have extended cast steel upper arms and cast iron lower arms, uh, which basically helps maintain um, the extra support and performance for when you're traveling uh, high speed off road. Um, we have extended steel, uh, no, sorry, extended tie rod ends and CV axles to accommodate a five inch track width as well. So we're really um, putting a lot of effort into making this a legit long travel kit. 
We are heavy for Procom in the motorsports field, and we're noticing that uh, the industry is, you know, t is heading that way to create increased performance products. And uh, you know, with Ford bringing out their Raptor, that was a huge hit for the market. It's gained a lot of momentum, and uh, we feel that a lot of the other uh, platforms out there don't have anything really to compete. And so, what we wanted to do is come out with an off-the-shelf long travel kit. Uh, there's another, um, you know, few suspension manufacturers that do offer the long travel but we wanted to have something that was straight off the shelf was easily accessible isn't custom built so you get it very quickly um, and also is backed by quite a few different warranties so it's a, it's definitely a plus um, these warranties with Procomp you get the Procomp promise which is a lifetime warranty and it's transferable 100% to the next customer of the vehicle uh, secondly, uh, Procomp has a lift shield warranty and this is exciting because it's a five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and it's free so you don't need to buy into it, you just need to register online and make sure it's installed at an authorized installer. Um, basically if you something happens to the powertrain on your vehicle and you go to the dealership to try and get that warranty covered and they deny it because of the suspension, you come to Procomp and we've got you registered, we'll cover it, no problems. So that's a huge plus for Procomp um, purchases. Hey, how about a bolt-on suspension system for you classic truck lovers? Hi, this is Jason Wilcox with Total Cost Involved Engineering. We've been manufacturing suspension components since 1974. Anything from early Ford street rods all the way up into C10 Chevy trucks. We've been uh, working on some new products for 2015, one of which is a uh, 63-72 C10 pickup. We've designed a complete bolt-in front suspension for this. Uh, it's something that you can just remove the factory stuff and bolt ours in in an afternoon. Uh, we've improved the geometry, we've made the front end a little bit lighter. Uh, and, and use some very heavy duty parts. We've designed our own custom spindle uh, that is modular, so it will change from left to right. This allowed us to retain a few things. Uh, one, factory steering geometry, so you're not losing any sort of uh, steering ratio. So you will be actually be able to turn the vehicle around in an uh, easy manner. Uh, but uh, we've improved camber gain, so if uh, you do want to actually get out and take it to the track and, and have some fun with it, it'll absolutely do that. Uh, we've kept bump steer to a minimum, again with removable steering arms and our own custom spindle. We've been able to achieve a lot of the geometry uh, bonuses that you would normally get on a race car, but still be able to keep it as a usable truck uh, in a truck application. We've also designed a complete new rear suspension for it that is based on our torque arm. Um, it's going to utilize some of the factory pickup lines and uh, points from the, the factory truck arm suspension, but now we've added one component to it that allows the suspension to articulate without any bind. Um, th this helps obviously in a street application or a race application, so we can actually just allow the springs to do the work and the shocks to do the work instead of uh, the link bars controlling what the suspension does. Yeah, it is. Uh, the kit includes basically a, uh, a complete replacement. So you will literally take out the factory truck arm rear suspension, and ours will have link bars, torque arm. It'll have a pan hard bar and a new pan hard bar cross member, as well as ride tech coilovers. So, for all you C10 owners out there, uh, we've designed this kit to allow you to not only drive it on the street, be comfortable. Uh, but also be able to have a little bit of a weekend warrior, whether you want to go to the drag strip or the autocross. We've got you covered. The engineering behind this kit is top notch. And we, we've kind of covered all the bases. We've taken our you know, race bred uh, heritage and applied a lot of that street application to it. Welcome back to Rebel News, everyone. Okay, so we've covered quite a few different suspension kits, right? Now let's dig deeper and find out more about some quality shots and maybe dispel a misconception or two about it. Probably the biggest misconception in buying shocks is what you, what forces you need to generate to have that shock absorber perform. So you could talk non-adjustable, you know, single adjustable, double adjustable, but really you have to look at how you're gonna utilize the car you know, what horsepower you're running, what's, what's your tire you're running, and you have to make sure that that shock can actually attain the forces you need it to. Because, for example, 
you could have a high-end, very expensive four-way adjustable shock, but maybe that four-way adjustable shock, you know, that to get a four-way adjustable, you're putting bleeds into the circuits. And maybe what you need is high force, but when you need to introduce those bleeds, you actually end up with less force. So it's really understanding what you need that shock absorber to do and understanding what forces that shock absorber is capable of generating. Again, at Viking, as we talked about, we um, only manufacture double adjustable shocks. But there are other uh, shock absorbers out there. For example, a non-adjustable shock absorber is one that you get from the factory and it has fixed valving. So when you take that out of the box and put that on your car, it is what it is. There's no change in it unless you tear that shock apart and change the internals. Then there's also a single adjustable shock and there's even different kinds of a single adjust. So you might have a single adjustable where you can simultaneously change compression and rebound at the same time with every click. Or there's other ones where the compression is fixed and you're just changing the rebound with each click. Um, and then of course you have double adjustable, which you know you have two knobs, so you're tuning compression and, and rebound independently of each other, or hopefully independently of each other. And that's how ours works. So if you change one knob, it doesn't affect the other side of all at all and vice versa. So with a double adjustable, you could do a lot more fine tuning. So whether you're looking for the most comfortable ride, that's extremely important, or whether you're extremely competitive and racing, you need to be able to tune those circuits independently of one another. Our new product for Viking Performance that we're really excited about is the Berserker ASM Active Shock, Shock Management System. And with that system, at each corner, you get a separate controller on each shock absorber, and there's also a controller that gets chassis mounted. Each controller has an accelerometer in it, so you're, it's able to measure you know, what the car is doing as far as pitch and heave and roll. And then there's also a ride height position sensors at each corner as well, so it always knows where the shock is in the travel and how fast the piston is traveling, to where the program actually has technological built-in end stops, so it'll prevent the shock from ever, ever topping or bottoming out. You also have a steering sensor that gets uh, dialed in as well, so it knows what the steering angle is and how fast did you get to that steering angle. And there's also speed uh, sensor that can be dialed in as well. So the master controller takes all these inputs and it sends signals out to the corner controllers up to a thousand times per second and tells the corner what to change the valving to. The corner controller looks at what the master said and said, I'm either going to accept your recommendation or not because maybe that tire just fell into a pothole or hit a curb and it needs to handle its own event separate of what the master is saying. Um, so again, it could change up to a thousand times per second, go from full soft to full stiff in 10 milliseconds. Now we finally get down to the wheels and there's a company we sit down with who makes some awesome looking bling for your ride. Well, what separates us from other manufacturers is that we actually do produce everything in-house, right? We, we, we try not to buy too many products sourced here or there. Everything that we buy is sourced in the United States. It's made from, for, made from a, a true aluminum, for, aluminum, aluminum alloy forging. But really kind of the odd thing or unique feature of us is that we actually make our own rim shells. Most, most companies purchase rim shells from a specialty supplier. Well, that's something that we do in-house because we strongly believe that the more you can manage, the more you can design that is very unique to the application, the better the product ends up being. So we have a whole team of engineers. We have an in-house test lab that runs five, six, seven days a week testing products. And because we can control so much of the, of the, of the design and production process, we can just build a much better, much higher performing product. Weld is actually going into 2015 with kind of a really focused market strategy. So what all used to be kind of under the general weld racing umbrella is actually really being f narrowly focused under four different brands. W the first being weld racing, which we're probably most known for, which is drag racing and oval track racing, where we have a long, long history and successful history. We also have the weld street and strip brand, which is all of the traditional weld, um, weld streetcar products, the Drag Light, the Pro Star, all the way up to our current RTS offerings are all under the weld street and strip. We also focus, we're also focused very closely or very narrowly on the truck market with our Recon Off-Road by Weld brand, which is a one-piece Recon XT, very hardcore, modern, uh, you know, Ford Raptor, uh, Jeep JK, um, very hardcore kind of off-road and kind of off-road um, lifestyle product, as well as dually wheels and some very traditional weld designs from the uh, from the, the heritage side of weld weld's truck business, and that 
really diving down into those narrow brands really allows us to focus our product development on what the customers need and what the customers are really looking for. With the addition of CCW, uh, we've added sports car, uh, road racing, and luxury wheels to the mix. So CCW is a, is a fully functional uh, business in, in Daytona Beach, Florida, where, it's, where it still sits today even after the acquisition. They have, been, they have 23 years of history and over 25 professional and amateur road racing national championships. So CCW has, a, much like Weld, has kind of been proven on the track and then they develop great street products after, from, from that knowledge. So we are very thrilled to be able to add that customer segment, but also such a great, great company with such great history of building really optimized race bread products. And last but not least, no rides complete without quality tires. And Falcon has a new all-weather tire that you don't want to miss. We basically take a lot of pride in the development of our tire. We test the tires to make sure that what we are producing for the end user is going to be the best product available for, you know, the daily driver to your, you know, hot rod. So we're making a tire that is not only going to have the latest technology, but it's also going to use the most advanced manufacturing procedures possible so that you have a tire that will meet or exceed your expectations. Well, one of our newer products that we have um, is our Z950. This is an all-season tire that basically um, has this new technology we call dynamic range technology. What that does is that makes a tire that is um, it's a true all-season tire, which, this, which is basically able to be used in the snow, in the rain, and in the summer. Um, most cases, people have, you know, in certain um, regions have to either run a summer tire or a snow tire. You know, um, this tire, what it does is it has a technology which allows the rubber to be pliable in varying conditions. So in the winter time, the tire is actually more flexible, which allows more snow to be packed into the grooves of the tire, which allows for better traction. In the rain, it has a lot of siping, which allows the water to evacuate, so it gives you great water performance, great water uh, wet handling. And in the summer, the rubber also be the rubber becomes more pliable, so it gives you better traction in the summertime. So, in I mean, in this case, you basically have a tire that you can use year-round. Um, there's areas um, like Colorado, um, you know, Utah, where it snows. It, it rains and they have, um, you know, they actually have all four seasons. So this tire can be used year-round in these type of areas. Um, it also has a 94% fill rate in the United States for this particular tire. So uh, on passenger cars, you know, we actually have a tire that almost um, pretty much covers almost any vehicle that's on the road, or at least 94% of the vehicles that are on the road. Well, that wraps up this episode of Revan News. Hey, and if you just can't get enough of cars and trucks, Jeeps, shows, parts, and products, then keep tuning in each and every week. And we invite you to follow us on Facebook and check us out on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.